Also, U.S. Representative Jim Clyburn is in full party planner mode tonight ahead of his world famous fish fry this Friday. The big event is always scheduled to coincide with the South Carolina Democratic Party's gala dinner and convention in Columbia. 22 of the 24 Democratic presidential candidates are expected to attend this year's fish fry. The event is free and it's open to the public as well. Gates open at 7.30 at the Coval Plaza in downtown, uh, downtown Columbia, I should say, at the Adventure Children's Museum right there on Gervais Street. We'll have all this information on WSBA.com. For hundreds of years, Abbeville County has operated without an animal shelter. Instead, they've just shared 14 kennels with the city. After a year of construction, 7 News reporter Nicole Ford gives us an inside look into the county's first shelter. After sharing kennel space with the city for years, the Abbeville County Animal Services will officially open the doors to their brand new shelter on Saturday. With clean floors and crisp metal doors, this facility will soon be home to dozens of animals in need. Abbeville County has never had an animal shelter. Abbeville City has a small shelter um, and over the years we have been borrowing kennel space. This new facility, complete with a cat room, was a push from the community and a project the county took on. It's going to give the entire county something to be proud of, so they will be able to come in. People from the public can come in and take a part in something that's huge. They can come in and do their part to save lives. At the city space, the county shared 14 kennels with no adoption space, so they relied on social media to get the animals out. But if no one was adopting, they had no more room to help. We will be able to pick up more animals. A lot of the strays, if they're not aggressive, injured or sick, we have not been able to help. When I talked to community members, they were happy to hear the shelter won't just help dogs because in the past there was no facility in the area to take cats. But getting a new building up and running isn't easy, so the shelter staff is asking for help. The biggest thing that they can donate is time. So volunteers are absolutely essential to every rescue organization and every shelter. They also are in need of cleaning supplies and cat litter as they prepare to open their doors. Now the official opening of the Abbeville County Animal Shelter will kick off on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. and go until 3. In Abbeville County, Nicole Ford, 7 News. If you'd like to see it in person on Saturday, there will be tours and food available at the shelter, plus about 10 animals ready to be adopted. Dogs will be $50 and cats are $35.